So, here's a quick little video about these right here, roller string trees. How they function, and why they're superior to these. Well, what is the purpose of a string tree to begin with? A string tree allows a break angle to occur on guitars that have completely straight necks, so don't angle back like Gibsons to give a break angle. Um, the earlier strings don't need this because they go straight to them, but the, uh, the higher strings tend to need them. You nearly always see them on um, on B and E strings, and only sometimes on um, on D and G ones. They can cause some hassle though by adding more friction here, so that when you use your vibrato arm or you do bending, it can put your guitar out of tune. And that's why some people opt to have their guitars built with a neck angle, or uh, they'll have staggered tuning pegs where the high E's at the uh, is very low down, and then the normal low E is as high as it normally would be, to try and eliminate these. But roller string trees are a very good compromise if you don't want to have to change things drastically, but just want to get an improved, um, improved system and less friction. One of the biggest problems that can occur with the string trees on a Stratocaster is when you use the vibrato system. Now, let me explain further. When you strum strings, then drop the bar, and bring it back, and it hits the zero point, which is the point where, which is the exact point where the unit itself goes back to its original point spot on in tune. Now, sometimes people with straps will do this, and they get to come back in tune perfectly, but the moment they start bending a string, it all goes out of tune, and the only way to get it back is to drop the bar and bring it back. Now, I've seen some videos that say that this is the way that they're meant to function, and that it's just a thing you have to deal with, but no, it's really quite a bad thing. And from what I've had to explain to me, the reason behind that is, presuming everything this end is working fine, that you're getting friction up here. Now, when you drop the bar, the, um, the strings become looser and the tension sort of gets put all that way. And as you bring it back, the tension gets put right back in and it's all tense up here again. But what can happen is a note can be flattened one of the strings can be made flat up here, and where it's become flat will stay here, where it's either caught on the nut or the string tree. And only by bending it and pulling the force back this way, do you bring the flattening through to the actual bit that can be heard. And then when you drop the bar again, it all brings it back there, and it's okay again. Now, this is a great problem, because it means that the moment you start playing a song, you can either choose to use do all your vibrato by the arm, or by your hands, or and only one of those, you cannot do both at the same time. And a big problem with that is either the nut, which I personally uh, use pencil lead to uh, pencil the graphite in the slots, and I find that works fine. Some people like to change it for a completely graphite nut, and some people even change it for a roller nut as well. And the other problem is with these string trees. Now, some string trees are fine. Um, the circular one I have on my Telecast, which is which is meant to be like a 50s one, seems to never go wrong with me. But these sort of bat or bird type ones, I've always had problems with. They they never like to work. And I, I, I hear of some people putting sort of pencil and graphite in the slots as well. But if you have a look at a picture of how they go under, they really do get like angled quite nastily on these sort of sharp edges here. Whereas with a roller, the centre point is completely solid to the body. And in fact, there's a guide as well as a screw to hold it into the body. So it's completely rigid. And this roller is one piece going through it, and it's allowed to turn. So as the string comes through like that, pardon me, comes through like that as you are um, as you're dropping the bar, this rolls and allows there to be no friction. The string will just glide through, and then as you pull back, it will glide back. So the string is not being pulled in any way, and it's not, and it's causing no friction, and it's not being flattened. It's a very easy modification. They cost me about eight pounds, and if if you're making the guitar yourself and you haven't yet drilled the holes, I would actually recommend uh, staggered tuning pegs instead. You can get ones that are sort of the vintage Cluson style, like this, like um, on the Eric Johnson strap, or you can get different ones like locking ones. But if, like me, you already had a guitar with string trees in and holes in, they look quite ugly um, with just the holes there. 
So I bought these, and these do require uh, some drilling, because as well as the hole for the screw, there is a string guide little pin there as well. And for this, I'd recommend a hand drill, not any kind of um, electric drill. Unless you're really good, unless you're like, yeah, unless you do lots of modding yourself and are very good of a drill, I personally don't trust myself enough, so I would use a hand drill and just do very, very slight turns until it eventually fits. And once it fits, it's really quite solid. But you've got to make sure that you get it so it's lined up nice and straight. For that, I put a bit of felt tip pen on the end of the tip and put the screw in and just pressed it down. Obviously, it wouldn't go all the way in, but pressed it down. And then when I pulled out again, there was a nice little black dot exactly where the string um, it's actually where the string guide in the string tree needs to go. Personally, I would recommend roller string trees for anyone who has a guitar that uses string trees, especially if, like me, you use a lot of vibrato and use your vibrato arm a lot. Hello, if you enjoyed the video, hit like, and if you really enjoyed and want to see more, hit subscribe. Goodbye.